Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a wash and go for you guys, starting off freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. I washed it about two days ago and just left it in these braids to make sure my hair completely dried and just to give my hair an extra stretch because I really don't like doing my hair on soaking wet hair most of the time just because it gives me more shrinkage. So this just makes it easier for me to get the look that I like. For products, I'm going to be using the Pantene Gold Series Buttercream Curling Style Milk by Shea Moisture in the Extreme Line Gel. And after the video was over and my hair dried, I went back and added this herbal oil at the end just to get rid of any crunch I may have had. I'm going to start by just dampening my hair with some warm water, just enough to soak the product in and get it moving, not too much. The first product I go in is this Pantene Go Seeds Buttercream. This thing is great for moisture. I use it like a daily moisturizer or a leave-in, whichever one you prefer to say. And it just helps with adding some type of moisture to my hair right after a wash. It's very moisturizing, very thick product. And once you rub in, you can feel that moisture on your hair. Once I split it to a smaller section, I use that Curling Style Milk. This is my OG product right here, y'all. Without even adding any gel, you already see my curls trying to form. I use this stuff on literally every style that I do. Twist styles, whatever. This thing is my favorite. Once I go in with my gel, I'm going to start it at the roots and just move it down. And this is what that first section is already looking like. This is one of the frizziest parts of my hair. So I'm not surprised that I do see some frizziness right here. But not that much. That's just how this texture section of my hair is. It's always been that way. It doesn't really bother me. But when it bothers me, I just take my fingers and slide it down a couple of strands with some more gel to fix it. Moving on to the next section. Again, I'm going to start by adding that buttercream. And then that style milk again, detangle it a little bit with my favorite brush. Y'all, I'll be going in with these products. I am rubbing this in for my dear life. That is a key to a good wash and go, especially with low porosity hair. Rub that product in. Adding the gel to my roots and going down is just, for me, it helps flatten my roots and keep it from puffing up. It's been something I've been doing for a while now. And I feel like it works, so that's what I do. I use all types of methods when it comes to forming curls. Smoothing down the hair strand, raking method, palmy method. I do it all, y'all. <laughs> Anytime a section is not in my liking, I just take it and twist it around my finger to help with frizz. These braids, y'all, just helped when it came to doing sections of my hair and made the process so much easier because my hair was already detangled from when I did my deep condition and detangled my hair thoroughly. My hair was still moisturized from being in these twists for so long. It just made it so much simpler. I usually do twists. I did braids this time just because I knew I wanted the braids to be in there at least for two days because my hair takes forever to dry and just making time to do the wash and go starting off again with that water this buttercream y'all is very thick it literally is like lotion like that's literally what it looks like that's what it feels like and that's how I treat it so when I take it and put it on my hair I literally rub it in just like if I was rubbing lotion on my body I keep rubbing until the white is gone as much as possible and you will start feeling how moisturizing it is on your hair like I literally like the more I go down I just feel like I'm I can feel what it's doing to my hair 
and I do this for a long time, y'all. I do not be trying to rush. I literally take my time and get this in. Then I break it down into a smaller section to add in that style milk again. This stuff is just great. It is also have a lotion feel, but I feel like it's a little thicker in opacity when you look at it. That's probably why it also helps my curls start forming, just because of the formula it has in it. It already has my curls clumping up and getting defined. The Extreme Wet Line Gel to me has more of a thick feeling than Eco Styler, but it also has a little of an oily feeling to me. I can feel some type of oils are added to the gel, which probably helps with so much shine that I get from it. And it is very, very good gel in my opinion. Y'all, it leaves me literally with no frizz. Anytime I use this gel compared to any other, I get no frizz with this wash and go. None whatsoever. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the other side and come back to the front. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss a beat and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. This section of my hair is the most difficult out of my whole head. For some reason, it just acts different than the rest of my head does. It's a lot more frizzier. The curls are not as defined here, so I have to give it a little bit more TLC than the rest of my head. I tend to have to really do small sections, twirl it around my finger, shingle it, rake it, and also just scrunch it up at the end to get my curls to form. But no worries, because once the hairstyle is completely done, you can't tell a difference from the rest of my head. This is a good thing to do when you have heat damage pieces. Wrap it around your finger to get that curl to form and just scrunch it up at the bottom when you're finished. And this is what the entire section is looking like. No frizz, y'all. And it is so shiny and bouncy already. Those curls are springing up. So once I'm done with my hair completely, I like to take and just shake it to clump my curls together. Don't really like when my curls are uniform. Fix it how I like it. And then after that, I go in with any edge control that I have and some gel and just do my baby hairs, lay my edges. And then this is the final look, y'all. I love this wash and go routine. This is a no frizz wash and go to the T. And as the days go, my hair does get bigger. It doesn't look as defined, which is what I like after the days go by. But this gel is great. Sometimes I do like to switch it up with Eco Styler. But when I want something that's going to last a little longer, I like to go with this gel. Thank you guys for watching today's video. And I hope you come back more. Bye. Subscribe to the channel for more videos.